Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, hello March 2020, you guys. Yes, March is upon us and we are so excited about what this new month is going to bring to us. Um, I am going to begin doing with this reading, a uh, general reading. So I have no idea if this is going to lean towards love, career, um, relationships, money. I have no idea. So we're just going to have to see where these uh, will go. And with this series, I am going to begin with Pisces. Yes. So Pisces, you will be the first this time. Just like I do in all of the readings, you guys I always want to say thank you for the love and support that you continue to give to our channel. I read all of the comments and I thank you so much for just being so kind as you always are. Okay. So just a little bit about this reading. Remember that there's no time limit on these readings, the readings are fluid. Uh, so what we're, what's going to come forth, it could have happened three months ago, could happen today, could happen in the near future. Okay. Remember that the messages will flip flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Um, you will be able to apply these readings to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus and Jupiter signs. Okay. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget that we have a Patreon membership now. Yes, 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 yes. So please go. That link is below as well. Remember our Patreon members, get they get access to all of our extendants if you're on that second and third level. Um, the lowest membership is only $2.22 per month, you guys. So that actually gives you access to a lot as well. So just go check us out. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like our readings, it helps push them out just a little further, okay? And don't forget that we do private readings as well. All right, all of that information can be found below. Now, we have already pre-shuffled, so we can move through that quite swiftly. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Geminis. Okay, let's get right into your reading, you guys. And this will be your reading, your monthly reading for March 2020. Um, I will do an extended on this. So if you're interested in the extended information, it can be found below on that. Um, also, join our Patreon. If you're on that second and third level, you'll get all the extendeds, okay? All right, so let's just get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe of messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the monthly general reading for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini? Okay. I'm glad I didn't take the other card. I started to, but I felt like that wasn't yours. All right. But that is yours. This is for sure yours. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the month of general re reading for March 2020. Okay. Make sure we don't have any flippers. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so we got multiple messages here. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the monthly general reading for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini for the monthly, okay. No flippers. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the monthly general reading for March 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini? for you. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the monthly 
general reading for March 2020. What messages need to go for the sign of Gemini? What messages need to go for the sign of Gemini? Okay. Making sure there's no flippers there. And you got, okay, another three messages. Wow. All right. And you know, you guys, I say this all the time. It could be one message in there that's for one person. So you really just got to take what resonates with you and just leave all the rest, okay? All right. So let's just see where we are. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So make the effort in this situation, okay? You need to be the one that's making the effort. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move this. Got a little wax on here from the candle. All right, make the effort. Protection. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. I love this card. Because what it's saying is that no matter what you're going through right now, you are in a protected state. No one or nothing can do anything to you. But you got to stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs, okay? So you got to stay optimistic. You got to keep your positivity in check. This could be about a soulmate relationship. Remember... All twin flames are soulmates, but all soulmates are not twin flames. Soulmate can be any relationship, so be mindful of that. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now, okay? So clearly, this is a romantic relationship that we're talking about. So this is already turned into a love reading. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. So remember, the energies can flip-flop. They could be thinking that about you, or you could be thinking that thinking that about them. Something is about a son. So somebody was able to get through a message about a son. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. This could represent somebody who's pregnant with the son. This could represent somebody who's having trouble with the son right now. This is somebody. This could represent somebody who has a son that they're fighting over in court. This could be about a son that has passed on and they're trying to send a message to um, their loved ones. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Okay, so there's things that need to occur that, um, that you're not aware of right now. There's things that's going on behind the scenes that you're not um, completely aware of. That reminds me of the moon card, that card right there with the patience, please, that there's stuff that's happening behind the scenes because that's what the moon does. Moon puts a shadow over situations where you really can't see or understand what's going on. But this situation will improve. But you're going to need help from others, okay? And it's improving within the next few months, okay? Within the next few months. All right. Let's get further messages. Clarification. Let's dive a little deeper into what is really going on here. Let's try to get some specific information. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator Universe. Oh my goodness, if I see this call one more time today. God, he has shown up in so many greetings. Sheesh. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator Universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini as it relates to the monthly general reading for March 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Gemini? What does that what do our Geminis need to know? Okay, I think these are all your messages right here. They all came out together. All right. All right. Gemini's. All right, let me look and see if you have any um, angel codes that's coming through. I don't see any angel messages for you that's coming forth, but these are the signs. I see a lot of sword energy, a lot of sword, 
A lot of you in your head. A lot of you dealing with emotions with this. I can see that right now with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and then the emphasis on Leo here. Um, so you could be dealing with those signs or you, they could just be taking on the energy of the sign. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go through this on the in the extended version. Information pertaining to the extended can be found below or you can join the Patreon and all the extendeds will be uh, revealed to you. Okay. All right. Meet me on the other side.